Hey everyone, Tech OG here representing those who are 40 and up with other tech. And this is going to be a quick review of the Tech Wrist Max S watch. This baby right here. As you already know, that I did um, an unboxing of this, showing you how I looked at it at the box. And the reason why I wanted to um, purchase this watch is to uh, replace my Samsung um, Gear S3 Frontier. The battery on that went out. And I kind of didn't want to get another one or another, another Samsung watch. Because, I mean, just uh, through research and going on eBay looking at prices, the resale value of Samsung watches are pretty low. They get introduced at a high price, but uh, finding a watch to purchase, I mean, and, and the prices are pretty good. It's just that they're not really worth much. The technology that they put in there is pretty cool, but smartwatches really are not worth much. The Apple Watch is pretty cool for fitness, but the Samsung Watch is really not worth as much as Apple Watches. So I was looking for, or I have been looking for for a while, a smart watch <clears throat> that's a standalone watch that can be used um, as a phone. So the Chinese smart, wa um, smart watch market or smartphone looking like a watch market um, has been stepping up their game slightly as far as um, watches with a big display to watch movies or to navigate through apps and things like that. So I saw this one uh, through uh, some videos on YouTube and decided to try this out myself. So I ordered this from Amazon. I'm going to put this on my wrist to show you how it looks on my wrist. So it is big, but not as big as the regular Tick Wrist Max. That's a 2.86 screen. This one is a 2.4 inch screen, and the biggest difference between the two. So, like I said, this one's the S, and usually when you put a letter on it, um, is getting a small upgrade. The only thing, the two things that stand out is the screen size, because like I said, they shrunk the screen size, and the second, the second thing is the addition of a side camera. So on the regular Max, there is no camera, but on this one, there is a side two megapixel camera to shoot videos. Um, and the cameras are really not that good. So getting through the review real quick. So here's your display. Um, we got 12% battery, so hopefully uh, this won't uh, go off or run out of battery power while I'm doing this uh, quick review. But uh, you get a plethora of different uh, phone displays. Yeah, you can say phone display or displays or watch faces. So, what is going on? So, you get this one right here. This has what they call complications, or um, if you press one of these, it'll take you to the actual app. So, it looks like a Windows 8 type of display. It's kind of cool. So you got a heart rate monitor, you have weather, time, Play Store, Google Play Store, pictures, a voice recording, timer, and the actual phone. And your different watch faces are here. They all look pretty cool. Some of them are animated. Such as this one right here. And you could probably make and download whatever watch faces you want. But as far as a phone, as far as using this as a phone um, slash watch, it's mediocre at best. So you have all of your apps and things here. And if you install any apps, you can silo the apps on here as well. Um, you can possibly root this because um, if you go to settings and go all the way down to ooh, about watch I said about watch and you go down to build number you can press that a number of times to get into developer options but you have to press it exactly about there we go 
time to get into it because it's not going to um, put up uh, an icon for developer options or um, it's not going to put um, hey, what, 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 what I'm looking for it's not going to give you the option of selecting it um, in, in the settings so you're going to press it the exact, right, exact amount of times to get into developer options so you have you stay awake, you have OEM un- unlocking. So that right there tells you that you can root this. And it runs uh, Android 7.1.1. So if that Android um, operating system can't be rooted, then you can do that. But like I said, using this as a uh, phone to quote unquote replace my Note 10, which is not. Um, like I said, it's mediocre at best. Um, displays the the format of it. It doesn't look as great as your watches, even though made in China or somewhere else, but made for these American companies or made for the USA. It just doesn't look great. I mean, the music player doesn't look great. It's just mediocre. And to get straight to the cameras, camera's terrible. Look, look how jittery that is. That's very jittery. You're going to hold it like this in order to get this right side up. You, if you hold it where to face the camera, it's going to turn your picture sideways. That's terrible. Now, you can turn it around to get your 8 megapixel camera that's right here, but still, this is jittery as well. This I, I don't like it at all. So, I'm already returning this. I'm just doing this review to show everyone else um, how this works and to save you money. Because this right here, I mean, I got it on Amazon, this $200. You can get it on sale for $154 and some change. And on certain um, Chinese websites like Banggood or Gearbest, I mean, if you're interested in it, you can definitely get it. But in my personal opinion, this is not worth it at all. And even when I install the apps on here, um, like Pop Repair Saga, I mean, just using the screen to navigate and the touch to navigate, it's just not practical at all. I mean, even for uh, browsing the internet, so here's YouTube right here, here's my channel, and i just put on this video right here to show you how it looks. Look how tiny, I mean, you can barely see the wording in the video. This is not good. You can't even zoom in, can't double tap, it's not good, not good at all. So I am not very happy at all with the performance of this watch slash phone. And... Like I said, me personally, like I said, I've been really trying to find a smart watch to kind of take the place of a Note 10. I mean, don't get me wrong, my Note 10 is a fantastic phone, don't get me wrong. I love the camera, I definitely love the camera on here. Um, love the form factor, the S Pen, it, it's fit. the best phone I've bought since the Note 9. Um, I'm not a fan that it doesn't have uh, expandable uh, storage on here, but still a fantastic phone. Much better camera than the Note 9. I mean, I still like the Note 9 as far as all the functionality that it has, but the camera is not even close to this. And you have the option of wide angle with this phone. So, definitely going to stick with the Note 10. But as far as a smart watch or technically something to replace this to carry on a day to day, um, I was trying to use the Unihertz Atom as a watch phone, but this does not cut it either. This two inch screen does not cut it. I mean, this is still a fantastic device with the fingerprint reader and all the, the, the bells and whistles on here. It's just not practical to use on an everyday basis, especially when you're texting and things like that. And even browsing, browsing is not that bad. The wording is small. 
but not that small when you go into a, a, a web page. But looking at videos on here, videos are pretty cool on here. Videos are pretty cool on here, to tell you the truth. Um, going on YouTube or just using a video player. So videos are cool. Um, the camera is decent. Not the best, but definitely decent for an everyday. But the thickness is definitely weird on your wrist. Compared to the Tick Wrist X, having this on your wrist, people will look at you funny. So this was my uh, best bet. But right now... Even though the Chinese smartwatch market is getting slightly better, this is still not up to par to replace an actual phone, a uh, Samsung phone, or even an Apple phone, or even a OnePlus, or anything like that. You can't basically use this as a phone. I mean, you can, but the functionality that you get out of it will not be that good. So... That's my review on the Tickris Max S. Great idea. Just not cutting it right now as far as the functionality. So, save your money. And the smartwatch market what is you know, a great idea. Just It's just not practical right now. Where your phone that you have can tell time for you and do a whole lot more things uh, a whole plethora of things that this just can't cut so that's my review save your money get yourself a, a nice phone or a nice PC instead of this so if you like the video and you like the review how to review then definitely leave that thumbs up on the bottom and if you have the watch uh, tell me what you think about it in the comment section uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't just done so already Tell your friends about my channel, and I hope to see you in my next video.